And we're back. Woo! We're back with Rogue Actions Part 2 again for another Monday with our boy Cubs fan Han. Welcome, buddy. Uh, again, fantastic first episode. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, the link will be below. Check it out straight after this one and catch up on all Check the awesomeness. Check it out, mates. <laughs> We're up and running. <laughs> Guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please smash that red button. Super, super important to help us grow this awesome channel. That's what it's all about. we got to get it bigger and even more amazing than it is, which is great. We've got that's three more said. topics on this side. We're going to talk about the best and worst galactic challenges. We know that that's in the news at the moment from last week. Yep. Uh, we also want to talk about the conquests. We're getting near the end of this run. We want to talk about the bosses in particular. We want to talk about whether we're going to change them out or whether they're just going to stay the same. I dig it. And, of course, we have a viewer's choice question. Uh, our boy Cubs is going to go in blind with this question. It's a pretty good one too, uh, and it's empire-based. So this will be empire really based. Empire-based okay, question. No, no the empire was not in the right. <laughs> That's not the question. Anyway, okay. <laughs> let's get down to it. But Cubs, we need to talk uh, about the Galactic Challenges. We know that our boy came out, Doja, came out uh, with a post uh, talking about the, uh, the Galactic Challenge off. It's probably the best way to put it, uh, where they're going to work through the list and find out the most popular Galactic Challenges and play them off, and they want our votes. They want our feedback. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Because that means they're going to be listening to us, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And I, I, I love seeing stuff like that in the community. It's one of those things I, I feel like I, I've seen a couple things kind of in this direction, and I feel like they're all, it's all Doja. You know, the, the, these are kind of the, the benefits of having this this guy working on the community stuff. So props to Doja for that. Um, and yeah. I, I'm curious to get your take on this, but uh, my favorite one are, are all of the ones that require Beskar Mando to be used as a feat. Are you <laughs> No. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just wow. Look oh, at him go. Man. No, I, I like this this last one with Imperial Troopers uh is on my mind. I, I think that one's pretty fun. I, I enjoy the way that one functions and you can, a, a lot of them, um any any of the galactic challenges and I'm you'll have to help me, I'm drawing a little bit of a blank on which ones which ones do it, but a lot of the galactic challenges, you can find a way to use the modifiers to your advantage to win like that night sister one for example where yes. uh you're just you who, who are you facing um phoenix squad i think it is phoenix, and you're yeah, just going yeah. forever and ever and ever and if, if you play it right and you you bring in a tanky enough team then eventually you can get all of them out before they revive that one's really funny some people might not like that one but i i enjoy that one because uh, it's it's really is like a, a puzzle unlike anything you see anywhere else in the game and i i enjoy yeah. that kind of thing I like, I like the overall strategies of all of them. I'm not going to lie. I like how that every one of them is individual in its own way. There's a different way to play it. I really enjoy that. And what I've really enjoyed the most about it is that these Galactic Challenges pop up and quite a lot of us are getting back in our community and trying to unlock the puzzle to get through it. I mean, there's some great yeah. people that release videos, but quite often when these pop up and you see the modifiers and you see what's involved, you get a lot of people together, whether it's friends or guild mates or anyone, uh, friends in the game, guys, how are we going to work through this? How do we do? What's going to work here? What yeah. isn't going to yeah. work? That's great because that, that's inclusiveness in the community. That's yeah. what we yeah. want. We want something like that that we can sink our teeth into together. Yeah as a combined group and and work our way through it and that's great troopers was one again i was going to mention um i've got i've got dark trooper pretty well you know pretty solid i'm having so much fun with dark trooper i'm not gonna lie yeah. he's insane so so much fun uh so that's definitely one the trooper ones i've really been enjoying yeah the best garmando ones i certainly have not been enjoying as much and i know a lot of other people are not um this is coming from someone who has best Garmando to the point that he's used that and I've gotten those rewards because I can. I still don't like it. I don't like how it's gated. I never liked the gating component of it. I think if you're smart enough to work your way through the challenge, I think that's enough yep. for me personally, instead of requiring a character in it to, to actually complete it. The Cubs, what, what do you think about that? Do you you're agree? You're on exactly what the issue is. Uh, gating is not fun. Um, and with, with the way the rewards work here, I really feel like that this is a game mode that needs to be focused on the fun strategy component. And yes. it's just like, obviously, I understand they're going to want to create incentive to farm certain characters, right? Nobody is going to get extra incentive to farm a character because of Galactic Challenges having a feat that requires yes. you to farm them. 
I, I really hope CG internalizes that because if that if all it ends up being is just a dick slap to people who didn't get it. That's mm. all it ends up being. It doesn't end up being. It's not even like a re, like I had best Garmando and I just felt like I felt like that feat was just pointless. Like I didn't, it didn't even feel good to, to get it right it was just like whatever yep. i just threw best carmando in there so for yep. people who have them it's just like whatever for people who don't have them it's like you're getting kicked in the nuts and yep. and there's no real and i i would guarantee you there is not one single person in this entire planet who farmed best carmando because of that feat nobody did it right. and so it's not going to get them more revenue it's just going to piss people off so i think they need to get rid of those those gating concepts in galactic challenges Completely. I think, I think, I think, guys, I think Cubs fan Han, I think this one's an imposter today. Firstly, he's dropping f bombs on his own videos on I his own channel. I didn't drop an f bomb. And I now, just said. And now he's talking dick slaps. Like, what is going on, Cubs? Dude, You're an you imposter. Been, have you even been Where's, paying attention? Where did the wholesome Cubs go? Where, <laughs> what? I've never been that wholesome. What? Where, where's this perception <laughs> coming from? Do you even watch my videos? <laughs> You're the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments below which ones are your favorite Galactic Challenges. You let us know which ones you like and which ones do you detest. I just uh, being a little bitch. They're looking into it. And, and again, I'd love to hear your <laughs> feedback. It would be really, really great to get your opinion on it. Now, we're getting to the, the next topic. And the next topic, of course, it revolves around Conquest Cubs. And look, yeah. I've had it all with this format. I've really really enjoyed it there really isn't much that i can really criticize in a negative way in this particular game style yeah. I, I really have enjoyed it and and so many other people have as well and i think that's there isn't a huge amount of negativity there um it's a challenge for many and that's fine but it's a good challenge yeah. and the, the data cards have certainly been you know instrumental in making that a They're lot so more fun, fun and doing so things fun. Yeah with characters in your roster that you normally would not do. Yeah. You wouldn't use them. They sit on the bench. Yep. That's great. We want a collection game, but we also want to use our toys. And anywhere we can do that in a different forum and a format, yeah. I'm all for it. I think that's yeah. fantastic. But one one criticism that came back, and really it's not a huge one, but a lot of people have seen we've done two of these conquests now, yeah. and they're going to be reevaluating them now, I think, after this, this one, if I'm correct. This was the um, exhibition. There, another exhibition. But uh, one thing that was brought up was the, the bosses in the conquest were consistently same from one conquest to another. And a lot of people were, were floating the idea of should they be changing the conquest bosses? Because with this format, it, it plays to a whole different mechanic anyway. Whether we should be getting different conquest bosses at the end of uh, you know each event uh, when we go from event to event? Or are you more than happy to keep the same bosses at the end at each level, which obviously are very solid characters, Cubs. I I'd be curious to, to see what you think of that. Yeah, we need to change the bosses. Uh, to me, the Go Conquest is the best game mode CG has ever done day one, in my opinion. Um, it was remarkably bug-free. The, the biggest bug I think they need to fix is how the feats are grayed out all the time and you need to go back out and back in to be able to see them clearly, uh, which ones you've got, which ones you haven't. I nah. also think that they really they really should work on uh, getting some trackers on uh, single battle feats so that you can know where you're at. Uh, that's really frustrating. And there's a couple other like nitpicky things that I'd really love to see, but by and large, I, I'm having a blast with Conquest. Uh, but the bosses, that's, that's the biggest thing that I just feel is a big miss on this game mode. Because uh, yeah. I feel like there's there's much more compelling bosses you can put in there um, for each of the tiers. Now, may maybe maybe Sector 1 and 2 end up being just normal battles, but I'd really love to see at least the last sectors be like a heroic battle, you know? Have it be an at -AT, Have it be, or an ATST rather. Um, have it be, um, you know, one of the, uh, one of the, the, the like the, the Tenteric or whatever from uh, the, the Revan event. Um, something yep. like that, you know, draw from stuff you've already used and change it up so that we can we can attack it. Um, I, I think that would make it much, much, much more compelling and even make it like a mini raid. Maybe, maybe the last one you get to the final boss on Sector 5 and it's like the damage stays once you, you, you've got a lot of damage to do, uh, but uh, you're going to have to do it over 10 battles or something like that. It takes a while to get through it kind of thing. There's, there's a lot more you could do with those boss nodes. Right now, I just feel like it's not a boss note it's just it's just mm. a hard note 
Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, if, if they haven't got plans, for instance, to do this down the track as a standalone raid, create, they've got the technology in our Cubs. We keep hearing it. They have the polygons. They have the polygons. Imagine going up against a surprise crate Dragon in Sector 5 or something. Like, oh, you know, dude. just something off the chain that if you're not thinking about making a raid yeah, out that, of anyway. Yeah, that would be new, and I, I would love for them to add new things, but e even if yeah. that's too much to ask, like, there's a lot of existing stuff in the game that they could add there that they already have in other areas of the game. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, get creative. You've created this fantastic format. Um, we don't want to keep going in time after time after time, hitting the same raid bosses at the end, time after time after time. And again, we know that this is all... Like, CG makes it, man. It's all subject to change, all this stuff. It's exhibition. We know how they roll, and that's great because they want flexibility in this format, and it looks like the way they've built it and created it, they're going to be able to do that. I mean, even so think I'm about, looking... like, the Malik event. What if the what if all of a sudden it was the, the Malik event that you had to do? Oh, yeah. Go back to the old events. Yeah. The old legendary events, stuff like yeah. that. And Fra make, frame yeah, them make differently, it but it's the same format. Like, you got to beat Malik. You got, you got to do yeah. that, that style of event. Uh, to yeah. be, to beat this stuff like that, some of the, some of those events that have been really great and, and fun, you know, tune them up and yep. and, and br get, bring us a new challenge with that same style, you know. Don't don't yep. let those go. Like I think some of those events, I feel like they put so much effort into and they did so well, but then it, yep. it's a pity because it's over and done so fast, right? Yep. So Visually, so still, we we went back, back a little while ago and, and we played the the uh, Jedi training Ray event back just for fun a little while ago. That was still so much fun. It yeah. was great. Yeah. They're sitting on the bench, you know, and it would be SLKR race style jewel. Oh, not, not parry strike. No, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, um, notice the lack of duel requests here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not asking yeah, for duels. Don't, don't, no duels. No duels, <laughs> please. Um, but uh, yeah, look, use a lot of the yeah the other the other legendary events in the past and slot them in there as a boss at the end. I would love to go back, and I had a ball just doing it for fun for no other reason that. Let's go back and play some of these. Yeah. Um, the the 3PO event with all the murder bears, something like that at the end of it. That would then, be cool. But then those events, but you don't have a character restriction on them. So they, they tune yeah. them up and, and make them, you know, a bit more of a challenge because you're using anything for them. I'm, that I'm would be that. really fun and exciting and different. And I think that's a great thing. You have the opportunity to do that according to what you've told us. Yeah. Use it to your advantage. And we'd be really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to do with this going forward. Yep. I'm really thrilled. Can't wait. Now we have our viewers' choice question, Cubs. Uh, again, we've got an absolute cracker. It's my as we favorite normally do. part. My favorite part. It is fun week. because he has no idea what I'm going to ask him. Uh, so this is a question uh, from, from someone who's asked it before, which is great. Uh, Bob the Great. This one's coming from this week. Uh, guys, if you don't know how this works, if you go to the Discord server below in the description and click on it and join the server, there's a channel in there called Rogue Actions Topics. Put your questions in there. Pop them in there. If they're good, we'll ask them. If they're not good, we won't ask them. Simple as that. Straight up. So we've got a good one from Bobby today, and I know we've already had one from Bobby, but it's a pretty cool question. So I had to ask it, and it is okay. Empire-based, and it revolves around our boy Vader, Ooh. which is good. Okay. okay. Are you right. ready for this one? I'm ready. Cubs has I'm ready. no idea what I'm going to ask, guys. Completely blind going in. Okay. So the question is this from Bobby. Would you rather have Vader's Imperial Star Destroyer as a capital ship and okay. not have Vader's TIE Fighter, or would you be happy for Vader not to have a capital ship and keep Vader's TIE Fighter in the game? I'd rather have Vader's capital ship, hands down. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll sacrifice the TIE Advance. I, I don't love the TIE Advance that much. It's like, it's an okay ship, but, you know, the TIE Bomber's better. I'd rather have yeah. the TIE Bomber than Vader's ship. You know, so I'd sacrifice that in a heartbeat for, for Vader's cap ship. Yep. Yep. No, I, I totally agree. I think I think having Vader, Vader should have a capital ship. I mean, let's be honest. I but mean, we, he's we just, have enough Empire capital ships though, too. True, true. But he's just iconic. I mean, yeah. you know, he's something that you can really build a, a great team around. You know, very similar to a malevolence type lineup with the Vulture droids coming yeah. out. They could be Tie Fighters instead. I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of options there certainly that they could draw from. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think I think a Vader capital ship, given the option, I would love that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah over the top of, uh, of Vader's uh, TIE Fighter, definitely. But uh, let us know in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think? That's what I'm after. You guys let us know in the comments below what you think.
be really, really interested to hear it. Uh, Cubs, we're all done here today, my friend. It's been an absolute honour and a pleasure, as always. Lovely. Always so much fun. Lovely. We're, we're, we're actually recording this live right now on Twitch, uh, on, on my channel. Uh, descriptions below. We do this every Monday. Uh, it's a lot of fun on Monday mornings, and then we'll upload it straight away. So, guys, come and hang out. Uh, we've got a big week coming up. Cubs, what are you up to this week, brother? Oh, you know, just, uh, I don't know. I, I the norm <laughs> I'm, I'm a boring dad <laughs> with his minivan yeah. um <laughs> who's super yeah, my minivan. minivan's awesome my minivan goes fast <laughs> we, we've got a big week coming up uh cubs actually this friday night uh us 10 p.m uh, eastern this friday night uh we've actually got the gritty sessions one year anniversary episode that's which is hot. pretty cool. That's hot. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be uh, getting some guests in and out. We're going to be you guys having are gonna a get ball. so drunk, aren't you? Yes, I will. We'll be doing giveaways, <laughs> all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, it'll be pretty lit. Uh, so really looking forward to that one. So come and join us on all Friday right. night, guys. You don't want to miss that. Uh, go and see our boy Cubs fan Han again. The description's also down there for his server. Get over there. Give our boy some love. You're probably doing it already. If you're not, you damn well should be. Yeah, they're typing uh, hate right now. Thank you so much, Cubs. Absolute pleasure, man. Have a wonderful week, guys. We'll see you next Monday. And uh, be safe. See Take you guys. Care. Love you.